Good morning, October. Good morning. Today is not going dis- to disappoint. Uh, I can tell already. You can see the bricks on the you filming in there. Hole number two. Here's a good indication of age. That's your tabby mortar. If you look close, you'll see that oyster shell all in there. Tabby mortar, yes sir. Look at this. They cut right through it, eh? Anyway, it's gonna take a little fisher coil. Uh, to get in here and kind of manipulate it and it's gonna be a while because it's a small site but at one time it was huge and unfortunately it's built up all the way around it foundation bricks they may be pushed up by timber people years ago but uh they left this piece it hasn't been touched very much metal detecting wise i can't tell there's a bunch of iron we'll be back because uh i take a little coal sift through this stuff and it is a big place so we're in the rice field And there's another example, South Carolina inland rice plantation. As you can see, that's all the old rice field. Interesting. So, basically, this is a rice field. And this is the old dike going to it. And it cuts off right here. There was probably a trunk here because you can see if you look there's a little trail of water that goes through there which is probably the original branch then they cut it off with these dikes and there was a trunk here to regulate that water and right at the end of it was this old hoe and like i said you know this is this is a this is the rice culture of south carolina Cool. Let's move on down here and see what Bucky's got. Well, Bucky's got a second. Let's check it out. A lot of iron in here. I don't see them overflow with trash. But you know, it's 300 year old rice fields. Interesting. Fairly deep. It's selling me. Oh, no. But. Yeah, could be. Could be. But you know, a lot of people dig every signal they find. I get to where I, if it's 12 inches, I usually know it's iron and it's probably not a cannonball in these situations. So I don't want to dig it. Well, this was a settlement, so. Had to have something. This is probably the last little bit of what's left over of what was here yeah everything else is under asphalt i'm sure yeah see now i'm already starting to go deep living life is a wonderful hoe i love them the same tool that created yeah all of this earth. that's right god bless them God bless. This is just it. Close. 
I hear that. <laughs> Sometimes you can be fooled. I've been fooled, that's for sure. You can dig this deep and it'd be something nice. And it was a dang belt plate. I was like, what? Hey, look at it, man. Perfect type of coil to ring from the <coughs> Remember them dudes are down here bapping this out before they even built it, so there ain't no tell. <laughs> they put these in strategic places too, the dike, obviously. That was a heck of a pond right there for that guy. Yes, it was. Damn, son. Probably one of those damn wagons. Looks like we need some deep woods off out here. Think up, close the summer. Oh, I don't know what it is, man. But oh my gosh. If you did this, you deserve it, brother. What the heck? What? That ain't no sardine can lid, buddy. No, sir. That's a damn belt plate, I bet yes, you. Yes, sir. You better look and see what it's. <laughs> oh, shark bait. Definitely a belt plate. It's got the little clips on it, man. Oh, man. Check it out. Look how deep it was, too. You know? Now, Bucky's got a white CMXT. And we were laughing. You saw it on film. You saw it on film. We've been fooled before, and they... I almost bypassed it for a while. Smiling faces, beautiful places, man. Oh, man. I don't know if it's got anything on it, but... That's very nice. That is definitely the belt plate. Now, it may not have a thing on it, but it's it's very old, man. Damn, congratulations. That's a good one, man. You clean yeah, it up, you man. no telling. There's no telling. Yes. In, now check it out, where you found it. In the dike. In this dike. This is a cut. It had two cuts in it, maybe three, because this was a big old pond at one time. How did they lose it? I'll tell you how they lost it. Horseback, guarantee you. He was trotting along through here. Hell, the British might have been after him. Wow. Uh, very, cool. very nice. Very nice, man. Yeah. 12. Oh, yeah. You got oh, down in there, son. Come on, man. Yep. It was way down there. It was, definitely. Yep. The whites pulled him out. Congratulations, man. Dang. There you go. That's a freaking nice find, man. Very nice. <laughs> hey, smiling face in beautiful places, bro. That's all I can say. Glad you have me to That's right, man. Adventures away, brother. Adventures away. Just plumb shoveling. Just bunny puppy. So they're out there. We've been doing this a long time. Lucky brought this one to the table, son. Never know unless you go. I'll tell you what. All right, brother, let's continue. So after about an hour and a half, two hours, we're done. Bucky made fun of the day with this great belt plate. I mean, it's, 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 you can't get much better, to be honest with you. And then some tools, and we did find a couple buttons. Pretty neat. A little bit of pottery. These iron things were, I was going to let you know how these work in wet soils. You'll think you got a button, but it's just going, ba -ba 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 probably old wagon wheel parts, because there is a kind of a wagon road in there. But anyway, we had a good time doing it, man. Bucky uh, brought it to the table, and Bucky got the prize. So, it's all a prize in a certain sort of way. It is. It definitely is, so. This is one of the oldest sites in this area, actually. But it is one of the oldest ones out here. I mean, it's... This is... It's what's left. In a metropolis of everything this is a spur of one of the oldest settlements on the ashley river actually the oldest settlement on the ashley river yeah 
sure it's is. An extension of the rice culture, early rice culture. And I mean, you know, I'm going to call this urban digging because that's what it is, man. It's it's all that's left. And Bucky and I have been surveying around here most of our lives, and it, there's not much out here that we have not surveyed, honestly, where we live. And these little forgotten areas just pushed up and forgotten. And if you do a pan panoramic, you could probably see houses back here on the other side. Of it. Definitely. Most definitely. Most definitely. Well, we're gonna go on to another spot and we'll see y'all later. Thanks for joining us on uh, the Swamp Shovel. And we had a good adventure today. Yes, we did. We sure did. Glad y'all could join us. That's right. And we'll see you later. <laughs>